Good evening, class. Today we're uh, looking at how do we make choices using today's technology. Well, as you know, you are in a distance learning environment, so technology is all around you. And so a part of what we want to accomplish this week is to look to see how you could be more successful inside of this digital age. So this is more about, you know, how familiar are you using the Internet? Uh, working email, uh, working with your email, campus post, uh, ebooks if you have them. You know, what, you know, rights and responsibilities do you have? And then how do you figure out what type of distance learning courses, you know, are best for you? And so as you continue to build on your, you know, studies, a lot of our world has moved into this digital age. We want to comprehend things faster. Your cell phones or mini computers. You look at your phone at least every five to six seconds. You know, we're always attached to our phones. Our phones are like our hearts. We, we feel lost, you know, without them. And so we have one billion hours of videos to watch just like on YouTube. And so... This is all about understanding how your skills are, what are you comfortable with, and what are some things that you need to work on. So um, some of the activities that we have, you know, in the text this week, really go into some detail about that. Um, if you have a problem with your computer, are you knowledgeable enough to fix it? Um, do you know how to do basic editing functions? Um, do you have regular access to a computer? Um, how often do you use the web? Do you know what a URL is? Um, do you know how to link web pages one to another if you're looking and searching for content? Um, do you know what kind of information is available on the Internet? So all of those things help you understand how comfortable you are uh, with the basic functions of a computer. You know, most people like, well, what do I hit when I don't know what to do? That one is escape. <laughs> you know, escape is your do all, you know, feel all to be able to get through, you know, any type of situation. It is hit that button. And so when you go to uh, the Knoxville College, your course email site, you know, website to log in, you know, I want you to pay attention to some of the things that you see inside of your page. You have links. Um, you go to a website. And so a lot of those basic things that you see help you get organized. Now, you also have something called a SEO or a search engine option. Usually when you, you know, get hits on the Internet or you go to a certain place, you're able to find a lot of information about a person. So one thing I want you to do this week is to go inside your Google and, and, and type in that search bar, Dr. Keith Lindsay, Knoxville, Tennessee, look and see what pops up. I want you to Google me as a part of your assignment for this week. That will just get you used to seeing how do you do a search? And then after you do that, do a search on yourself. See what's out there uh, in this digital world. Uh, with all of these people, but you know, you have to look at what you want to do, exact terms, figure out what you're looking for, and then go out there and find that info. And so nine times out of 10, once you find something, you'll bookmark it, you'll save it, you'll print it. And so that way you always know, you know, where your activities are. You know, when I first started using a computer you know we use that old log uh, uh we use the old um i was about to say lego uh logic you know base 10 basic you know where we had t uh 10 run 10 20 save uh 30 go to 20 uh, 30 go to 10 uh 50 stop the old logo basic type of uh, programs. You know, I remember, you know, using technology in a, like in an old Atari 2600. Now, 
playing Pong and little two bit graphics. Now we have graphics where people look human, you know, on using technology. You know, I remember the first time using a computer. You know, I don't think I used a computer until I was about nine years old. But nowadays, kids use computers at the age of two. They could, they, they're not talking, but they know how to use a computer. And so technology has become more common uh, in the 21st century. And so it does make it a lot more enjoyable. You know, it makes it easier to use. It makes it more accessible for all. And then it, it eliminates that ease of access. Uh, there's a city in California that has free Wi-Fi access for the whole city. You know, you really wouldn't, you know, imagine that. But in this day and age, this is really what uh, what we're looking at. And so when we look at our learning management system, which is class 365, but you also have Blackboard, you have Canvas, you have Moodle, you have DTL, you have so many different types of learning management systems but you are becoming an expert in this class 365 system by logging in using your password and your login, which is a unique security because it's only known to you. Uh, so when you log into that system, you see notes from me, you see notes from your other professors. It gives you all of those things. But then you have to sit down and know what are your responsibilities as you use content as you cite content, you know, are you just cutting and pasting? You know, you have this uh, little word called plagiarism. And so you want to make sure that as you, use, as you do research and you write papers and you're relying on the web and you're pulling information off the web, you want to make sure that you are uh, citing your sources. You know, always make sure that you, you cite those sources and so that is a form of net etiquette or what they call for short netiquette. You know, there are rules to this social behavior game. Don't don't let anyone steer you wrong about it. You know, there are rules about how much you can borrow. There's rules about being sociable. There are rules about what you should or should not post, even though we have this freedom of information. You know, once this stuff is out there in space, it does not come back. And so you want to make sure that what you put out there is sensible and good uh, knowledge for you. So as you're going throughout this uh, course and throughout your program, you have made the decision to become a distance learner. You can log in when you want. You can do your classes when you need to you don't have to worry about weather you don't have to worry about traffic you don't have to worry about finding a desk it is as simple as sitting in front of your computer logging in getting this information that you have now sometimes that is difficult because um a lot of people are used to having that face-to-face -face interaction you know with your professor and uh it was a pleasure you know, this week to be able to meet, you know, uh, Jennifer. And so now you get to put a face, uh, to the name that, but you already see the face, but you get to physically see that person. And it does change your mentality. It does change the way, you know, that you look at things. And so we have a asynchronous type course. You can log in at any time you want to gain the knowledge. You can listen to this video more than once. And so that also helps reduce the anxiety of performance because you can literally take your time, read through the text. And then if you have a question or you have a concern, you know that you can always reach out to your to your professor. And one thing that your text brought out this week were just a little myths and facts about distance learning you know all courses are the same no they're not because you have different teachers and every teacher uses you know the technology that is available to them in different ways um is it more effective uh no online learning is not less effective um it is just about on par or it's even better 
than sitting inside of a classroom. Um, are they easy credits? No, they're not easy credits. You know, um, do you think your staff or your faculty are less trained? No, they are equally trained and knowledgeable, you know, in the subject matter. And so um, a lot of times they, you know, one of the myths is, well, my employer won't accept a degree, you know, that's done online. Well, that's a negative. Um, education is education. Some online educations are better than others, but it makes you a strong researcher. It makes you a strong thinker. And at the end of the day, it will get you to where you need to be. And so as you look at, you know, technology, just know that there is no uh, one size fits all. There's not a uh, one method uh, to to the madness, but you have to decide whether or not if you are able to be successful, not only just in online learning, just learning, period. You know, do you have what it takes? Do you have that in you? Are you ready? And so if you are a person who likes to get things done, you, you know, can you need that classroom destruction instruction? You feel like hands on education is not necessarily always a priority. You know, you look at your schedule to see how it fits best. Then, yes, a distance learning program is for you. And this is what, you know, this topic and this lecture brought out this week. Uh, I remember when I worked on my doctorate, you know, my doctorate, um, I did it through Walden University, which is an online school based in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I did not know what to expect, you know, working on a Ph.D. I knew I had to write my dissertation. I knew that I had to go to class and do coursework. But at the end of the day, that was the longest three years of my life, you know, reading writing, going to the library on my weekends, researching. I mean, it was something that when I was done, I was all the better for it. And I think that the, the knowledge that I was able to gain was something that could never be, be taken away from me. It was a remarkable experience. Now, is that for everyone? No, it is not. Uh, but I understood where I was at that point in my life, how I was able to accomplish it, and uh, I'm all the better for it. And so you will also discover those things and chart your path as you go through uh, this distance learning program, as you go through your courses, as you begin your path to graduate you know, from this institution. You know, you will enjoy yourself. You will find, you know, that you'll have your own individual method to, of success. And we want to make sure that, you know, you tap that potential and, and get the success that you have always wanted. And so uh, that's the use of technology in today's world. It's the technology that, you know, the college has embraced. And it's the, the technology that will get you to the finish line. Uh, so, um, embrace technology. Don't fear it. Uh, learn to understand it. And, uh, if you have any questions, you know, you, there are always good resources, uh, for you to reach out to. So hopefully, uh, this lecture will, will give you a little bit more insight into that. And, uh, we look forward to talking to you again soon.